Oh yeah! Today's vlog day 770 and I'm gonna do beach workouts this time because it's harder to do beach workouts. Yeah. Morning, it's Saturday. Whoa, a little wobbly. Morning, it's Saturday. I, uh, I'm trying to get that thing not to wobble, and I, that thing has been turning on. They're just not quite as bright. Oh, let's do this, see if you can notice it there. I don't even know if it's in frame right now because that's how I operate. I hope you had a great week. It is on the weekend, and actually we're well into it by the time you're seeing this. Of course, today I'm gonna dive deeper into the guide. I'm, I'm making progress. If you watched the live edit last night, you got a little bit of a sneak peek of what the guide looks like, what's uh, a little bit of what's in it even, and I'm having a good time putting it together. I do need to focus on that today because I'm gonna be going to the mayor's office this evening for the Liberation of Paris celebrations, and I have no idea what to expect from that. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to dress up appropriately enough for it. Hopefully I am. I'll pull out what few stops I have to pull out because I don't have much of a wardrobe at the moment. But uh, that should be good. And Jacqueline gave me another invitation. So I just I asked if Laura wanted to join. That way at least I've got you know somebody to let me know if people are staring at me because I'm not dressed appropriately. And uh, we'll just see what it looks like. I'm actually very excited for it. Like I feel a little bit mixed. I not I'm kind of tired and I would like to just go to bed to be honest. However, I am a little bit excited for it because I've never been inside Hotel de Ville, the mayor's office. I've never been inside of it. I'm hoping that we actually get to wander around a little bit. And so today's gonna be kind of a tour of Hotel de Ville. That's my, my hope. If that doesn't come together, you know better than I do already based on the title and thumbnail what today actually turns into. The, the outside is going from very, very sunny to very, very cloudy and back again very, very quickly. I, anyways, I'm gonna I'm gonna work and then we'll go to Hotel de Ville. Alrighty, I am like buttoned up and ready to go. I decided to opt, I just opted for jeans, but with, you know, brown shoes. I'm so, I'm so close. How, how close am I? I'm like 75% of the way done with the, like putting the guide together. All the, I have, I think like as much content as I'm gonna put into it. I've been formatting it. I've been searching for photos all day. Just putting stuff together. Cause I had some, I just, I'm just figuring this out, but I gotta go. Cause it's, it's time. I gotta feed Coco. Uh, and then I gotta go to wherever this thing is. I don't know what to expect. I don't know what to expect from this. I'm mildly anxious about it, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Let's go. gonna be a nightmare. I've already been turned around two times. I'm gonna go check on Coco really quickly and then I think we can enter. I don't know what time we're supposed to, I, I, don't, I don't understand. If anybody knows what uh, early meet d'arrivée des invités, I'm assuming that means that I have to get there by that time. I don't know if that's when it starts. I don't know, I don't know anything. I'm pretty ignorant to that. Anyways, let's, let's go feed the cat. Debating whether to like tuck to like tuck this in or not. I don't think I should, but like, you know, then it's like, oh, it wouldn't look bad. <laughs> eh, not gonna. All right, found the entrance. Just waiting for Laura, and then we'll go inside. I'm glad I have a friend because otherwise this is gonna be a little bit much. Madame, est-ce que je suis uh, assez bien habillé pour ce soir aussi? Oh, so, ça va, on est à Paris. Okay. Laura's still lost, but I made a friend. A little nice lady back there, Madame Baron. She gave me her son's business card in case I ever want to buy an apartment in town. So that was nice of her. Very lovely, happy to meet her. Anyways, uh, hopefully Laura shows up before they close the doors, because otherwise, you're gonna miss out. And I, I want to go see all the festivities now that I'm here. Founder. What was that? Security is ridiculous. Well, it's tight, but also not. 
Right. Like it was, it was on TLP to pass through there, but I snuck through right over there, so whatever. Yeah, it's like, you know, they wouldn't let me through anywhere, but yeah, around. Okay, now we go in. So this goes. That makes two of us. I so don't know what protocol is for filming as I go, but, you know. Let's follow these guys. Alrighty, we've been seated. There's a large, the demographic here is slightly different than our usual demographic, I would say. I haven't, spent, I haven't spent any time in a retirement home in a while, but that was beautiful. I've never walked through Hotel de Ville before. I really want to explore it more. I don't think I'm going to get to meet the mayor today, though. It doesn't look like my odds are very good. But we can celebrate the liberation of Paris, and we were not a part of it directly, but at least our forebears were. Yay, America. Anyways, I have no idea what's going on. Like, we walked through, and then just kind of like, what's happening? And then found a guy to tell us where to go. And there are, of course, red, white, and blue chairs. We're currently sitting in the red, because we're not allowed to sit in the white. And, um... Yeah, I don't know. I expect there's going to be music. There's some there's some actors and stuff happening. No freaking clue. We'll, we'll let. I don't know. We think it's starting. We don't know. Nobody nobody prepped us for this. Like they don't teach you about this in high school French. How to behave at like French ceremonies and why? Somebody should have taught me how to do this. I have a French degree. Why didn't nobody teach me what, what's going to happen? Was really neat. There wasn't a whole lot to film from where we were seated. It was very like, it wasn't the most formal of occasions, but it was a very, I don't know, like historically driven educational kind of, it was interesting because they read a lot of accounts and poetry from people that lived through the occupation of Paris and then also went through history like footage, uh, the, uh, the beaches at Normandy, the liberation of France, liberation of Paris, just kind of walked through the whole thing. It was really, really cool. They started, actually one of the more moving things at the beginning was they showed the faces, the pictures and information about people that had been members of the resistance and died in the last year or two. So that was kind of sad and very, I don't, I don't actually even know half of what happened there, to be honest. There's a lot of things that I missed for sure, but it was really, really interesting to see like the French perspective on the liberation of the city, to hear some of the accounts, to hear some of the suffering and then the joy of being liberated and the pride of the resistance. And yeah, I feel like there was one other thing that, that was really cool that I liked a lot, but I really enjoyed just seeing a lot of the historical footage as much as anything put into context with the maps and timelines. It was really fascinating to see. It makes me want to go back and watch like some World War II history and movies. And it's been a long time since I've seen anything along those lines and I liked it. How'd you like it? Did you like it? Yeah, it was interesting how they, they would bounce back and forth between poetry and music and video. Mm. Um, and kind of retell the story through all of those different formats of it. The mayor was there. Yeah, it wasn't exactly exciting. That's the first time I've ever seen the mayor in person, so that was neat. I didn't know she was French and Spanish, actually, so that was, I've, I'm learning all kinds of things today. But we're hungry, and now it's time to go get food, because that's all that I've been able to think about for like the last 20 minutes, so how about you? Yep, same. All right, let's go get food. Chatelet station is just ridiculous.
dinner. So good. That spot, along with so many more in the guide, which I'm so close to finishing. And hopefully I'll get finished tomorrow. That's my, my hope and plan. I just gave somebody a free pass on that one. Anyways, speaking of it, back to it, back to work. Thanks for dinner. This light is brutal. This is fun. I definitely did not need to worry about how I dressed. Paris has gone so casual. It's kind of, uh, I think it's a good thing though, to be respectful of the ceremony. And it's really neat to go, especially as an American and to see that, like I was saying, that French perspective of the liberation, which I've seen a little bit here and there, but it was cool to go see a ceremony dedicated to, the, to that, to the resistance especially, and just kind of get an idea what their mindset was about it. So that was really interesting. It is, what time is it? Nine o'clock. It's kind of late. I should start editing soon. I still wanted to get back to work on the guide, but I haven't gone for a run in a while. I was going to go for a run yesterday. I was going to go again today. Didn't. I'm going to right now while there's still a little bit of light out. Huh? And then I'll get to work. Should be good. For those of you who are interested in Immersive Ships Monday, my plan is to do Immersive Ships Monday tomorrow. I haven't done one in a while, I know, so I'm going to try and get back into the swing of things. I am still trying to get organized and the organizational efforts are being sidetracked largely by the guide and everything that's going into that. So hopefully I will have this all pieced together very shortly, but if you can just track with me for another couple days, we should be back on top of it. Lots of fun stuff coming, lots of really cool things planned, trips. All kinds of weird, I don't know, there's, there's just a lot going on. It's really hard for me to keep everything straight. My brain is kind of melting and falling apart. So I'm just going to leave it here, go for a run, and uh, hopefully that clarifies things a little bit for me uh, so I can, you know, edit a vlog a little sweaty and stinky. Because that's what everybody likes, right? Yeah.